You're watching Nissan Sports Beat. Nissan, innovation that excites. All right, the beat rolls on. Jeremiah, while you uh, tweet or figure out what yeah. your, uh, you know, the breaking news, uh, we'll talk Nothing about breaking. Kyle Whittingham. Oh, Coming off his most successful season since joining the Pac-12, Coach Witt had to go through a couple of crazy months losing both his coordinators and social media speculation running wild with his relationship with athletic director Chris Hill. I sat down with the coach to get his thoughts just a few days after spring football wrapped up. If you were interviewing Kyle Whittingham, what's the first question you would ask? Well, right now the standard uh, line would probably be spring ball. You know, how spring ball went and, and uh, you know, went very well. You know, we're very pleased with what happened and, and uh, had a lot of progress. Uh, came away knowing a, a lot more about uh, a lot of our younger guys and, and stayed relatively healthy, so that was a positive. Is this your best spring ball since you joined the Pac-12? I think without a doubt. You may have been asked this a number of times since the spring game. I have from Utah fans, no offensive touchdowns, even though you had a lot of starters sitting out. Utah fans ask me, should we be concerned? Is this going to be like last year where we got to rely on Superman, Devontae Booker, and the defense? No, we, we don't think so at all. We had, uh, you know, essentially our fifth and sixth string quarterbacks uh, you know, running the show, which was good for them, get them some experience and some opportunity. Uh, I think we sat out 16 starters and all, and so it was really uh, not indicative of uh, where we expect to be offensively by a long stretch. And Travis Wilson, what have you seen in him saying, okay, this guy is our leader, this guy is going to take us places where last year it wasn't the case? Well, I think the one thing you point to is the confidence level that he was playing with in spring. He uh, and he finished the season very well. You know, the Colorado game he played exceptional. The Colorado State, the bowl game, he was the MVP, and he really picked up in spring where he left off at the end of last fall. And are you ready for the circus in game one? Because it is going to be just it's going to be the game that everybody's looking at, not just because it's Michigan Utah, but Jim Harbaugh. Sure, yeah, it's a lot of excitement, a lot of buzz with with that hire. Uh, this game, it's a Thursday nighter, so that'll even make it more uh, of a spotlighted game. There really won't be much, much competition on that. I don't think I haven't seen the other lineup of, of uh, or the remaining uh, games that are that night. But, but uh, it arguably the biggest home opener in Utah football history. Certainly one of the biggest, and uh, it's going to be uh, a big challenge for us. We've got them up at their place the last two years or the last two times now that we've played them. So I'm sure that's on their mind as well, and and it should be a great game. So we'll go back to the very first question. If you were interviewing yourself, the final question that maybe is off the wall or out of from left field that you would ask head coach Kyle Winning. Uh, what are you really looking forward to this summer? And I would say the Van Halen concert on July 18th. Love classic rock. What else is there?